My ninjas, welcome back. We're gonna crack open some boosh, channel fireball goodies. Uh, this is a crate you can purchase on channel fireball. This one cost me a hundred and thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents, and we're gonna cover everything that they send inside one of these channel fireball crates. It's a nice little goodie bag of stuff. You even got some sleeves up in here, uh, a plethora of different kind of booster packs, and also something sweet I found. Um, inside of here a mobile phone stand i could actually use one of these uh not too bad this is not a sponsored video of channel fireball this is just me purchasing something random that exists on the internet it just happened to be channel fireball i've done these kind of videos before star city games channel fireball uh cool stuff incorporated the list kind of goes on i just find something i'm interested in and purchase it let's find what's inside this channel fireball crate wish me luck skadoosh Holy Miss Moly, we got a lot of stuff here. So let me explain what's all going on. They did send me these five booster packs, two Iconic Masters, two Masters 25, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, Guild of Ravnica booster box, which is pretty awesome. We're going to crack all this open in just a second. Also, something pretty sweet I'm going to mention. Channel Fireball, this is a little deck box case. Pretty cool. Channel Fireball, this. The mobile phone stand. Deck protector sleeves. And these two little creature token flying 4-4 Vigilance cards. This right here, I'm going to be giving out to one of you. This is their playmat. If you like these handsome gents here in the background, by all means, like this video. Share this video on social media. Leave a thumbs up. You gotta give that thumbs up. That's a double like, that's right. And comment below. What is the dumbest thing you've ever done? That's right. No swearing, please. Do not swear because it will not be shown in the comment section. And I'm going to pick one person at random and read what that person did. And they are going to receive this awesome channel fireball playmat. This is worldwide, by the way. I will ship this sucker worldwide. All right, let's get going. Good luck, my ninjas. Good luck. Again, this is not sponsored by Channel Fireball. It's just I know it's a product a lot of people see. It's a little bit more expensive. It's $134.99. And a lot of people probably have interest in it, you know, and they would like to know, well, what all do you get in it? Well, you see what's all in it. <laughs> I just showed you guys. But now we're going to find out if we can actually crack some goodness out of this Channel Fireball opening. One thing I will say, positive experiences with Channel Fireball that I've had. And also, I'd like to hear from you guys if you have positive or negative positive experiences I've had with Channel Fireball is basically anytime I buy off their main site, I purchase this from their main site. This is from Channel, Ball, Channel Fireball's main site. You go to channelfireball.com and that's what you get. Um, the booster boxes seem to be random and they just send you whatever whatever it is. But on the other, boosh, starts off with a $2 Mythic. Remember when I said this was going to drop in price? Hot diggity darn, I was right, baby. Um, it did drop in price. A little bit lower than I expected, though. I said it should be like a $5, $6 angel. Um, but it dropped really like $3. Got the healer hawk here. I'm not going to spend too much time on commons and uncommons. Lava coil, solid uncommon, though. Legion's Edge. Make some fun decks around that card. Um, but positive experiences. Anytime I order from Channel Fireball, I get exactly what I'm looking for. Like, I mean, they send me what I want. That's from the direct site. Poor experience with Channel Fireball. Anytime I purchase from Boosh, their eBay site, anytime I purchase anything, any booster box from Channel Fireball's eBay store, it seems the boxes were, like, gone through. Like, they opened up... Uh, they didn't open up the, the box, but it's like they opened up a case, they found the two uh, good booster boxes or something, and they sent me just the junky ones with the worst cards in them. I mean, I've purchased... BAM! Smack me in the taint! Oh! I've purchased a good... How many? I'd say about 15. This is a rough estimate. Over the course of time, about 15 booster boxes from Channel Fireball's eBay store. And I have not had a single good box opening out of those. Not one I can recall, at least. There may have been one, but not one I can recall. Especially not in recent memory. And that goes for like the past like probably eight or nine booster boxes I purchased from Channel Fireball eBay store. Not to be confused with Channel Fireball, the actual site. Just... Whoa! That just goes. <laughs> um, that just goes to show you, though, something's going on there. 
Or it could be incredibly bad luck. I could have had incredibly bad luck with my pools there. That's a good pool right there. Swift Blade Vindicator. And we got the Shield Mate. This box is juice. This is how the boxes usually look, I swear. When I purchase from the Channel Fireball store, uh, Channel Fireball store, um, dot com, you know, Channel Fireball dot com. But anytime I go through that eBay store, man, it is just a crap show. And uh, I, I stopped purchasing from the the eBay store. It's almost like it's like their dump site or something for just the junk. I don't even, I mean, I don't know. Call me crazy. I mean, this is like some conspiracy stuff. I could be completely wrong, and we could have just had 15 terrible purchases um, uh, 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 accumulating over, uh, not accumulating, we didn't accumulate nothing, but added up together is over like a hundred, or I'm sorry, let's make that more, bigger number. It's more like, ooh, emblem. It's more like about $1,200 I've spent on their eBay store. And probably value out of that was maybe four or 500 bucks. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. It could have been really bad luck. Again, I can't say, I'm not saying nothing too bad here because it could have been really bad luck. But that was a poor experience I had with them. Moving all that aside, since this is about Channel Fireball, I thought we'd talk about them. Venerated Loxodon is our rare. This box was looking really good. Now it's kind of getting a little wimpy. Can we step it up? I'm just kidding. This is a really good box. Right I'm pumped to see what's up inside those other packs, though, man. That's going to be nutty. It's going to be nutty. Affectionate Indrik. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I do want to make a deck around this card. It does look like it could be a lot of fun there. And if you know what I'm saying, Bill, it probably is a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of good black, um, a lot of good black, a lot of good decks lately I put out. Um, for sure, I will say they're for sure. If you go back and check out um, the video from yesterday, it's a mono black build I got from this young fella on Reddit. Link in the description of that video. But uh, it did really well for me. I mean, I had like a 78% win ratio. March of the Tunes um, is a good card. I feel like we're just in the school rock there. Anyone else get that feeling? School rock. I want to rock your body all night long, doggy. Wait a minute. I'm not into that beastie out of stuff. I don't know why I said that. Chamber Century is a card I can see going up in price also when the new set drops. Keep that in mind. I also make a follow-up video on what I think another 10 cards will go up in price it's all speculation it's crazy sauce i know but there's another speculation video already got out there once war of the spark hits guild is guilds of form mage guild mages forum yes and there's going to be gates planeswalker decks that is insanity man we don't need gate planeswalker builds all right we just need that not to happen can we please not do the gate planeswalker builds please if no one would ever make one we'll all live happily ever after the end We've pulled one foil so far, and we're about halfway through. Oh, that's a little bit insane. I must say, that's a little bit insane. But that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. We got the Conclave Tribunal. I bet we're going to pull a nasty foil. I just know it. Not right now. Not right now. We need patience here, children. We need patience here. But after we get around, it's going to be just crazy. So got the old Healer's Hawk here coming in, looking all glorious. Mr. Harpooner, sweet, uncommon. The Blaze, Thief of Sanity. This card has gone up in price really quick. I'll stop for a second. If you don't know about this card, flying 2-2-3 two, two, drop. Demir Colors, everyone's favorite. Whenever Thief of Sanity deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library. Exile one of them face down and then put the rest into their graveyard. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though or mana of any type to cast that spell. Stupid card. Really, really good. Especially if your opponent has no answer for it. They just steal all your good stuff. That's all they, they just steal all your good stuff, man. And leave you with crap. Like it's it's ridiculous. Really cool card. That card's up to about five bucks in price or in value right now. Pretty good. Citywide bust. Good card. Oh, a nice Ladev Champion foil. That is a nice foil though. Pretty sweet. Pretty super sauce from the boss boss. There you go. Oh we got. Come on, let's get that big pool. Let's go. Where's the big pool at, baby? Where's that big pool? Come on, come on. I want to go swimming. Oh, the gruesome menagerie. I'll always say that that way. I guess that's how the French say it. Menagerie. As we have the menagerie, I spit on you. Okay, appetit, appetit. And that's how they talk, I heard. So, I mean, no, I was in France once visiting my uh, my French lady. Oh, a Lazav the Multifarious. Probably going to go up in value a little bit. Probably not, though. Um, that's one card. 
that uh, never really made its way. It had hype around it. It came out, you know, started like eight bucks a pop and then just took a plummet. And no one cared after the fact, all right? The Lantern, Chromatic Lantern is pretty good. That's pretty good. I, did see, I, I saw that thought erasure, guys. I saw that thought erasure. Don't think I didn't. I saw it. It's a great card. It really is. I saw it, and you must know this. We have an Undercity and Necrolisk, the Challenger, the Amp. Oh, oh my God. What is that? Oh, my God. Deafening Clarion. Oh, is it Guildgate? Oh, I scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a, a dual land. I haven't pulled a dual rare or foil land in a long time. In a very long time. Maximize altitude. Can we open these faster, Mr. Moss? You're getting a little sluggish. Are you getting old there, Joey? Joey, are you getting old? Are you getting old there, Joey? Secrets, are your balls hanging to the floor? Joey, worry, a copy is coming at you, baby. Joey, what is going on with you, Joey? Joey, are you getting the old man? The old man curves in the pants down there? What's going on, Joey Moss? We got the Crackling Drake, another really solid, uh, uncommon Plague Crafter. Amara, the second one I think we pulled out of here. All right, all right. We'll take it, we'll take it, baby, we'll take it. Take it to the house, the Pound Town, you know what I'm talking about, the Pound Town. You guys ever been to Pound Town before? It's a great place, just visit it sometime. Experimental Frenzy, solid little card there. We'll see some play in the current meta and moving forward meta. It's great for uh, for your burn deck because you get that thing dropped and then you can just continuously cast stuff. You know, it's better than drawing cards. Um, Chemistry's Insight, Champion, Giant, Research, baby. Chemistry's Insight, I think, is up there too. <clears throat> Sometimes they put the uncommons aside. Sometimes. Don't get lost in all the bulk. Don't get lost in all the bulk craziness. Unexplained Disappearance. Electrostatic Field's really cool. Beacon Bolt's a great card. We Dragonauts, wow. Dream Eater. Our Mythic Sloth is weak. Bum, bum. Dream Eater, come rescue me. Who am I to disagree? Travel the coils and the seven seas. A trot is looking for me! <laughs> Oh my god, what a pull, man. What a pull. I'm shaking. You can see that. Wow. Oh my god. The Frosty Go Gary Queen foil. We were just talking crap about the mythic slot, and then what pops out is not. Oh god. Man, we did so good. Oh my god. You are looking so damn fine. I'm gonna take you home and pour you into a cup of wine and drink a drink and drop you yeah. Oh, man. That deserves yourself a nice foil sleeve, Bill. All right. Giggity, giggity, go. Moving up forward. What a pool. Roscoe Gold, Gary Queen, case it, foil. And I was just talking about buy that card because it's going to go up in price. You're darn right. It's going to go up in price, my friend. Oh, my God. Mausoleum Secrets. Why have you failed everyone in this format? Uh, uh, moving on. <laughs> Hey, if, if now that Mausoleum Secrets will probably jump in price because there's going to be a really, really good mono black deck coming out. I'm telling you, it's going to be nasty. I bet you. I bet you anything, baby. Legion War Boss, pretty cool. Another solid hit. I, I, I would put money on it that that card's going to go up in price. Get on the gravy train while you still can. And now it might not be going up in price for good, like over um uh, over every risk factor is a good card it won't be going up in price like it, it'll it'll stay up in price but it'll drop again because it's only going to be good in standard i think i don't think mausoleum secrets is going to make it too far uh out of standard but we're going to get a lot of uh, black's going to be um the new orange all right and black's going to be the new orange it's taken over so just keep an eye out for that can i open a pack Christ sakes Sometimes I get a little slower as I open these packs, man. It's weird. Unicorn Riot Pelt Collector. That's slick. I got to focus. Sorry, guys. And we got the Mood Mark Painter. Wow. Wowzers. 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 What a great opening. Like, I have zero complaints. We haven't even, good, we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet, man. We haven't gotten to the good stuff. Beam Sweater Mage, Sphinx. Niv Mizzet Powderoon. There's some more good stuff. Can I get the bell for that, Frasca? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. And that was for you, too, Niv. Don't think we left you in the dark, son. We did not leave you in the dark, son. Nope, we did not, son. We got the gargoyle, the find broker, the sun dew, the overgrown tome goes out with a bang! On the booster box, last pack, pause, last pack, last pack, last pack, moss is back right there, overgrown tome. Wow. Talk about, 
doing phenomenal. That was doing phenomenal. We did it to him, and we did it good. Not done, baby. Let's get into cracking. Ooh, Iconic Masters. Oh, my gosh. Isn't she lovely? Come on, give me some nasty sauce. Give me some nasty sauce. What do we got here? What do we got here? The Battle Priest is our uncommon. Boil Works. Menace. Crucible of Fire. I do love my dragon, so that's pretty cool. Dragon creatures you control get plus three, plus three. I'll include this also for whoever takes home this playmat. How's that sound? I will include that because it's a fun card. Festering Newt. There you go, baby, baby. Don't forget to like, share, uh, and uh, be subscribed and leave your comments. Dumbest thing you've ever done. Dumbest thing you've ever done. This is going to be a funny comment section. You guys are going to want to check out and, and like other people's comments in here, too. It's going to be hilarious. Remember, no swearing. Enlarge. Sarah Ascendant. Decent little pool there. With the, Oh, my God! The Oriok Champion! Woo! That is so we, we had This is the best opening ever from Channel Fireball. I'm just saying. I don't think I've ever had a better opening from Channel Fireball. Amazing. We, we praise Channel Fireball. We talk smack about Channel Fireball. And now we're continuously talking better stuff about Channel Fireball. But you got to remember, it's a booster box. It, at the end of the day, it, it comes down. It's just odds, baby. It's just odds, you know? You either get lucky or you don't. But I'm still really sketchy about the whole eBay store. Uh, we got the Cavern. We got the Shade. Ashes Barons is pretty solid. And a Nicole Bolas because he's about to be kicking butt, taking numbers in the new set, baby. Not bad at all. Not the best foil, though. Uh, or not the best non-foil. I think it's only like a buck fifty for this Bolas. Hey, I'm going to throw this Bolas in the mix as well. Bada bing. Someone's going to get the Nicole Bolas. Someone's going to get the Crucible of Fire. And someone's going to get this lava coil. All in one bundle there from Joey Moss Sauce, all right? Definitely make sure you punch the like button. Hamps out a lot. Share the video. All that good stuff. Reef Worm. And a foil Twilight Mirror. Wow! What is going on here? What is going on here? This is crazy. Channelfireball.com. Amazing. 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 Amazing sauce. Moss Boss. Holy smoke ruse man. Holy smoke a ruse This has been stupid. Angelic Page, Open Fist, Shaman, Rishadon, Port, and a Foil Fiend Hunter. Get off me. Get off me. Shut up. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Ah!